A new Netflix original documentary series will take you around the world for food and some laughs along the way. It comes from the creator of the popular sitcom Everybody Loves Raymond, Phil Rosenthal. He hosts as well as created this documentary eating tour. Let's check it out. In a new place, see what everybody's eating. And sometimes miracles happen. Hello. A classic Mexican cantina. The best sausages in Lisbon. Floating markets in Thailand. My favorite thing to do is to taste little tastes of different things. Banh mi, cocktails, crawfish, pork yeah. belly, pork cake, and pork yeah. chop. This is fantastic, people. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Bill Rosenthal. Creator and host of the show joins us now on set. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. Nice that to have you. That was me on the street in Mexico City trying to convince Mexican people walking down the street that tacos are good. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I always think that, like, for food that's you, everywhere you go, generally, like, street food yeah. is what people love to eat. That's what and I love. I think for us, when we go to these places in Hawaii or Thailand or wherever, you're this is so amazing. But for others, they're like, this is what I eat every single day. Yes. <laughs> Big news. Yeah. Right. But I want to tell people, you know, if you love a food, if you, let's say you live in New York or Los Angeles or another place where there's a great ethnic diversity, you love a taco, go to the source. Right. It's going to be 50 times better there, <laughs> like everything, right? Yeah, absolutely. So what was the genesis for this idea? Where did you come up with it? Why? We did an episode of Raymond where we went to Italy. Ray Romano did not want to go to Italy. He didn't want to <laughs> really? go anywhere. He had, when he's going on his vacation from the show in between seasons, yeah. he's going to the Jersey Shore. And I asked him if he'd ever been to Europe, and he said, no, I like Jersey. And I, <laughs> that's, a I good, said, uh, that's a good Ray voice. But I said, well, I got used to it. Yeah. Um, I said, what about Europe? You ever been to Europe? He goes, man, not really interested in other cultures. <laughs> Even his own culture. So I thought, oh, we got to do that episode oh, man. where we bring him over there as him right. and bring him back as me, right. someone excited about traveling in yeah. Italy, the food in Italy, right. right? And sure enough, we did that show. And what happened to the character that I wrote getting woke, right. you know, <laughs> food woke. over a slice of pizza <laughs> right. in Italy, yeah. the source, yes. happened to Ray the person. That was the year 2000. Wow. Since then, I thought, how great it would it be to do this for other people? That's, now that's, the show. Well, well, that's so incredible. So, um, I mean, one of the things that I've always loved about any kind of food documentary is when not only eating the food, but also getting to know the people that prepare the food. That's, what, and, that's it. Yeah, right? I mean, Of course. The food, I always say, food is the great connector and laughs are the cement. Mm. That's where we really bond. We're going to eat together. We're going to get to know each other. But if we can share a laugh a little bit, now we're friends. Yeah. Now we're friends. And from that comes everything. And I just think, you know, maybe instead of a wall, how about a table? How about a table where we can sit down, have a meal, and talk with people and try to understand from you each other. You Especially on this day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. You got um, it. Where was your favorite? What's the place that you love the most? Oh, my goodness. What was your favorite dish? Let's put it that way. That might be a little easier. Well, there's a bowl of, you know what cow soy is? Cow soy? Cow soy. K H A O. S-O-I. No, it's a it? Thai dish. Okay. I found it in Chiang Mai. In Chiang Mai, in Thailand. Thailand. Okay. And a great chef took me there. This is my favorite. This is your favorite? This is a down a dirt road, a little shack, an old man. So here's what it is. We have time? Yeah. Okay. A big bowl uh -huh. of coconut curry soup. In there, big pieces of chicken. I'm talking a whole drumstick, a whole thigh. Uh, pickled mustard greens, onions, Oof. shallots, Aye. hot chilies over... A bed of the freshest pasta, real. Like I'm tell I said that word on purpose because that's what it is. Wow. It's beautifully freshly handmade noodles, and then on top of all of it, crispy noodles. So you got everything going in this bowl. It's a dollar. <laughs> that's great. It's one of the most delicious things I ever. <laughs> if, if you if you want the beef and chicken combo, a dollar fifty. 
That's all right. Because so he's running all, a deal for I, you. I love Thai food so much that yeah. uh, the last time I was in Thailand, I was on assignment, but I stopped that off at a street market and I had like fried crickets and it was delicious. And so now, Khao soy is something that I could probably eat every day. I wonder, I don't know if they sell it here in New York City at the they Thai do. restaurants, they but do. I gotta get it because you're making me hungry. But again, you like it in New York. Yeah. You're gonna love it in Thailand. In Thailand. <laughs> Had you traveled the world like this before? No. No, I, no I, I've been to Europe. Sure. Uh, I've been to Italy. That's yeah. my favorite, right. favorite. But I don't know. I really haven't uh, uh, gone to the Far East before the show. And that was the most mind expanding thing we can do in life is travel. Mm. That's what I'm trying to impart to the people is. I think the world would be a little better if everyone could experience just a little bit of someone else's experience. Well, it's a good it's a good point. And I, I think that, you know, we're living in a time where the president of the United States has allegedly referred to some countries as s-holes. And, for example, I lived for three years in Nigeria, almost three years in Nigeria. Uh, Nigeria has a lot of problems for sure, mm -hmm. but it's also one of the most vibrant, most interesting countries. And the food is out of this world. Tell and, it. And, you know, people, Tell it. if yes. they could just experience that, yes. you would really at least have a different it wouldn't be so black and white there's a nuance to the countries that we're talking about here that are not ours we celebrate the differences we celebrate them we don't denigrate it. them that's I, what makes the world great it really you know is. I met Will Smith once you know what he said to me diversity is America's superpower Diversity is America's superpower. That's Love right. That. That's what actually makes us great, not the opposite. <laughs> right. That's the thing, the very thing. I love, makes your us great. I love your enthusiasm. I love your enthusiasm. But let's go. Yeah. You gotta see it. If you see it, you'll believe it. No one who's ever gone to the, some of these places that we go in the show has come back and said, "Nah." Yeah. Right. No, they say, "Ah." <laughs> <laughs> um, so I can just see because of your enthusiasm that it must have been a very easy pitch meeting. You know, you sat there in front Here of those executives. Here was my pitch. I'm exactly like Anthony Bourdain if he was afraid of everything. <laughs> That's good. That was the pitch. <laughs> I'm sure that they were like sold. <laughs> because I'm the guy on the couch watching Bourdain right. and going, he's amazing. I'm never doing that. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> I'm not. I have no desire to go to Borneo and have uh, the tribesmen right. pound nails into <laughs> yeah, my skin that? for that a was, tattoo. That was unbelievable. Yes, I am exactly. not doing no, you're, that. You're just going to sit at the table, have a nice meal. But I figure other people on the couch who are like me and see one of their couch men yeah. up there doing it, say, if he can go outside, maybe I can too. Such a great idea. Uh, Phil Rosenthal, thank you so much for joining us. The show is called, the documentary is called Somebody Feed Phil. Can't wait to see it. Thank you. Thank you.